Risk aversion. We face many risks in our lives, financial, physical, emotional, social, and business risks to name a few. But often people avoid taking the risks that could help them reach their full potential because they're afraid. Do you respond positively to any of the points below? You struggle to make important decisions in your life. You spend a lot of time daydreaming about what you'd like to do, but you don't take any action. Sometimes you impulsively make a decision because thinking about the decision is just too anxiety-provoking. You often think you could be doing a lot more adventurous and exciting things in life, but your fear holds you back. When you think about taking a risk, you usually only imagine the worst-case scenario and choose not to take the chance. You sometimes allow other people to make decisions for you so you don't have to make them. You avoid risks in at least some areas of your life, social, financial, or physical because you're afraid. You base decisions on your level of fear. If you're a little afraid, you might do something. But, if you feel really afraid, you decide taking the risk is unwise. You think that outcomes are largely dependent on luck. A lack of knowledge about how to calculate risk leads to increased fear. And fearing risk often leads to avoidance. But there are steps you can take to increase your ability to calculate risk accurately, and with practice, your risk-taking skills can improve. Why We Avoid Risks When Dale pictured himself opening a business, he was reminded of the last time he took a financial risk, and it didn't work out for him. His thoughts about taking another risk were immensely negative. He imagined himself becoming bankrupt or risking his entire retirement to open a business that would fail. His exaggeratedly negative thoughts led to fear and anxiety that prevented him from taking action. It never occurred to him to find ways to decrease his risk and increase his chances of success.